Transport of toxins, electrolytes, and water occurs from blood to dialysate and of electrolytes from dialysate to blood. This occurs via two methods, diffusion and convection. Let's look at a cross-section of the filter now to understand diffusion. For simplicity, we will focus here only on diffusion of solutes from blood to dialysate. This is a cross-section inside of a hemodialysis filter, with dialysate on one side and blood on the other, separated by a semipermeable membrane. We will be focusing here only on transport of solutes from blood to dialysate. During hemodialysis, uremic toxins and solutes diffuse from the blood to the dialysate along their concentration gradient across the semipermeable membrane through the pores in the membrane. Solutes can be divided based on their molecular weight. Small solutes, such as urea and creatinine, have a molecular weight of less than 500 daltons. Middle molecules, such as beta-2 microglobulin, have a molecular weight between 500 to 60,000 daltons. Albumin is a large molecule with a molecular weight of 66,000 daltons. The rate of diffusion depends on the concentration gradient of the solute between the blood and the dialysate, as well as the solute molecular size. Small solutes diffuse faster and in larger amounts than larger solutes along their concentration gradient. Urea and creatinine have a very high diffusive clearance compared to beta-2 microglobulin. Albumin does not diffuse across a standard dialysis membrane. 